Am I the only one who's thinking? When the fuck will Taylor Swift's tour be over? I saw this article on BBC News just now, and I was like, shit, she's still touring. When the fuck will this fucking era's tour end? Ed Sheeran joins Taylor Swift for her era's tour return. She's touring currently in the UK. She's in London at the moment, in Wembley, of all places. Crazy capacity. It must be like 50,000 plus capacity. She sold out all the dates. All the dates, she sold them out. Look at that fucking venue. Look at that venue. Every fucking seat is taken. Taylor Swift absolutely killing it. But she's been on tour for, it feels like a year. Like, when will she not stop touring? I understand the money's great and she probably enjoys it and loves it. But it's like, bro, she's been touring forever, bro. Like, wow. It's never going to end. Taylor Swift was joined by best friend Ed Sheeran as she kicked off her final part of her European leg for the era tour on Thursday evening at London's Wembley Stadium. Performing a mix of two songs they've made together called Everything Has Changed and Endgame, Swift thanked Ed Sheeran for appearing alongside her to perform at a sellout 92,000 fans. 92,000. Yo, Taylor Swift is something else, man. And I think I've done it. I think some of you guys have done it too. I've done it. I've went through and listened to every single album in Taylor Swift discography. I've done it. Because I just kept seeing all the statistics, all the record-breaking things, all the streams, all the money generated. And I was like, what the fuck's going on here? Like, let me listen to this shit. And I listened to it. And maybe there was a couple of songs that were decent. But for the most part, I was like, wow, this is terrible. This is legitimately terrible music. Like, how is this so popular? And I still can't figure it out. Maybe a lot of it has to do with her. Maybe it has to do with her being... A particular type of woman that a lot of women type of identify with like you know not even just her looks but just like what she represents as a woman like figuring it out uncomfortable in your own skin you you know hopeless in love and all this sort of stuff like you know like stuff that i guess it's universal to all women experience for womanhood overall especially in america but i can't say america because she killed it in europe too when she came here she sold out bare places in europe so I think girls in general, but there's a particular type of woman that just loves Taylor Swift. And there's and 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 what I kind of like about Taylor Swift, it's like her own thing, you know? So like they like her for what she does. Because a lot of people complain that she always talks about like ex-boyfriends and breakups and stuff. And it's the same sort of like, you know, tired material. But her fans love it. So what she does, which I think is what all great artists should do, is you only service your fans. You don't try and convince your haters to be your fans. You don't chastise them for not liking what you're doing. You don't gaslight them for having an opinion. No, you just double down and you give your fans what they want. And what they want are these fucking vapid, nonsensical, emotional ballads about heartbreak in high school, even though you're like in your 30s and shit, whatever, right? They love that shit from you. You just keep doing it again and again. Even her performances. You see her on stage. She's so ungangly. She's got like horrible posture. She can't dance. But they love it. They love that about her. That she's kind of goofy and shit. And she's like the quintessential like, you know, quirky girl with a fucking bag of chips on her head. Like, but people love her. Like, they love her to death. And I just, honestly, it boggles my mind when I see it because I've listened to her albums. I tried to fucking get into it. And I just couldn't get into it. And it was just like, and, what, and obviously she doesn't speak to me, don't get me wrong. But I was just thinking like, objectively, this is not really good music. Like, not really, you know? But she keeps, she keeps killing it. So big up to her. The concert was her first performance since the cancellation of shows in Vienna last week because of terror threats. It was also the first time she returned to the UK since the attack on Southport last month. The BBC understands Taylor Swift has privately reached out to the families affected by the attacks. She did not reference either during the event. Of course not. That's a vibe killer, man. You can't be referencing the death of like, I don't know, six-year-old, seven-year-old and a nine-year-old, you know, that got fucking stabbed during a dance class. At, you know what I mean? That's that's going to definitely kill the mood, I think. So she made the right call not referencing that on the stage. Um, gigs in Austrian capital were cancelled when authorities said there was a failed terror plot. The 34-year-old has not spoken publicly in Vienna, but did release a statement about the three little girls killed in Southport. Ed Sheeran makes an appearance. As has been the case with most of the era's tour, things were pretty much as expected. But Sheeran's appearance 
um, during the surprise acoustic section of the evening prompted a huge roar from 92,000 audience members. The songs featured acoustic section towards the end of the show and kept secret to the audience until they performed. After the matchup of the 2012 hit, Everything Has Changed, the pair then launched in 2017 collaboration Endgame. Swift then repaid the favour by duetting with Sheeran for the mega ballad Thinking Aloud. Uh, big up Chris Mack, the Eras Tour. Big up Chris Mack. The Eras Tour commenced on March. Oh my God. Big up Chris Mack. The Eras Tour commenced on March 17th, 2023 in Glendale, Arizona. The, store, the tour started in March 2023. It's been going on for more than a year. And it's set to conclude on December 2024 in Vancouver, Canada. Consists of 149 shows spanning five continents. She's generated what over five billion from that tour so far. God almighty. Big up. I don't blame her. To be fair, it's also proof. Oh, you know what, maybe? I wonder if she's on tour this much because of that controversy with her albums. Do you remember when Scooter Braun did that really fucked up shit where he bought her masters and then he wouldn't give them back to her or something? And then she had to go and re-record all her albums and then get her fans to try and buy them again. Obviously, you're not going to recoup the money that you lost out through that, that scooter deal. So most likely, this tour is really lucrative, so you're probably trying to make that money back through touring. And most artists, unless you've got good splits or a good contract, most of your money comes from touring. So that's why probably she's touring so much. Why not? And probably as well, while you're young, I'd imagine she's probably going to have kids soon. I think that Travis Kelsey relationship looks like it's going to be serious. They'll probably end up getting married and shit. So if while you can, as a woman, get that tour out of your system and then maybe look to maybe settle down and have some babies later on, this is probably the time to do it. But fucking hell, March 2023. Fucking hell, well done to her. Swift then, um, this is one of my best friends in the world, she told the crowd. He works so hard, he's on tour right now and he's probably so tired, but he wanted to come and play for you. Let's have the guitar with the runtime more than excuse me with a runtime of more than three hours people are going to see taylor swift for more than three hours wow she has three hours plus worth of live material yeah to be fair she does have a lot of albums she's got for somebody so young she has a crazy amount of albums and each album has like a crazy amount of tracks and they're all incredibly long so jesus christ three hour runtime there's not much time for um, rambling ad libs and the set list of the part. Taste of interaction with the audience stayed on script. Swift fanged the crowd throughout. And whilst introducing folklore and ever more era in this evening, she told fans how overwhelming the crowd size felt. She said that she would miss performing to these crowds and was experiencing feelings of emotions. I didn't think could be for talking about it. Fans were told to watch out for her surprise songs, which are often her way of knowing that headspace she's in. When a fan died of cardiac arrest following an era's tour concert Rio de Janeiro, Swift directly did not address the incident at her next show in seven releasing a statement to social media however fans interpreted her song choice bigger than the whole sky as a tribute to Anna wow man wow big up to her bro big up to her big up to Taylor Swift killing it absolutely killing it going on an actual real tour some of these fucking comedians talk about tours and they're just travelling around fucking their fucking state to random comedy clubs she's on an actual tour covering fucking every continent on the planet earth do you know what I mean? She's fucking killing it. So big up, big up, big up Taylor fucking Swift. 